Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we're going to look at the difference between Athena and Macy and this can be a very popular exam topic comparing the two different uh, services uh, and they'll give you a scenario and they'll ask you which service to choose. So why don't we start with Athena? What is Athena? Well, Athena is an interactive query service which enables you to analyze and query data located in S3 using standard SQL. So this is a really cool service. You can basically use SQL. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with SQL, but it's you know basically a language um, that you use to get knowledge out of databases. So it could be using some Microsoft SQL Server or MySQL you would basically say something like, hey, select star from this table, and that would show you the entire table. So maybe you want to see all your students uh, in a table in a database. You'd say, hey, select star from the students table, uh, and that will show you all your students in that table in that database. So that's all that SQL is. This effectively allows you to turn S3 into a giant database, and you can actually query S3 using standard SQL. Now, the cool thing about Athena is that it's serverless. There's nothing to provision. You pay per query or per terabyte scanned. There's no need to set up complex um, extract, transform, load, or ETL processes. So how do you get your data out of S3? How do you put it into something like RDS? You don't need to worry about any of that. Athena will basically allow you to turn S3 into a database. You can run SQL queries against it. And it works directly with data stored in S3. So where would you use this? Well, it can be used to query log files stored in S3. So this could be your elastic load balancer logs, which we will cover off in the next section of the course. Could be S3 access logs, etc. You can also use it to generate business reports on data stored in S3. So maybe you want to run uh, queries against your payroll data. Data. You can use it to analyze AWS cost and usage reports, and you can run queries on clickstream data that's stored in S3 as well. So now that we know what Athena is, what is Macy? Well, let's start with what PII is first. What is PII? PII is just personally identifiable information, and this is information that's used to establish a person's identity. So this data could be exploited by criminals and used in identity theft or financial fraud. Some examples of PII might be your home address, it could be your email address, could be your social security number, your passport number, your driver's license number, your credit card numbers, your date of birth, phone number, bank account number, credit card number, etc. That's all that PII is. Now, what is Macy? Well, Macy is a security service that uses machine learning and natural language processing, or NLP, to discover, classify, and protect sensitive data stored in S3. So it uses AI to recognize if your S3 objects contain sensitive data such as PII, uh, and it basically gives you dashboards, reporting, and alerts, and it works directly with the data stored in S3. And it can also analyze cloud trail logs. And this is great for PCI DSS, so if you're taking credit card payments on your website, uh, as well as preventing ID theft. Now you can see why people get the two confused, because Athena allows you to query your data on S3 based off SQL Server, uh, sorry, based off SQL uh, commands that you write. Um, however, Macy, it also queries data on S3, but it's using machine learning and natural language processing to discover PII information. So there's similar but different services. So going into your exam, just remember what Athena is and what it allows you to do. It's an interactive query service. It allows you to query your data located in S3 using standard SQL. It's serverless and it's commonly used to analyze log data stored in S3. Whereas Macy is essentially, it's a security service. It uses AI to an analyze your data in S3 and help identify personally identifiable information or PII. It can be used to analyze cloud trail logs for suspicious API activities. Uh, it includes dashboards, reports, and alerting. And it's great for PCI DSS compliance and for preventing ID theft. So if you know the difference between Athena and Macy going into your exam, you're going to do very, very well. So that is it for this lecture everyone. If you have any questions, please let me know. If not, feel free to move on to the next lecture. Thank you.